Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe and reliable Ultimate Team coins. And during the Team of the Year period, there is a special 14% bonus and 10 million foot coin giveaway. Make sure to use the code RRB at checkout for 5% off. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, all right? All you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, all right? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, all right? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. What is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys an absolutely insane, probably one of the best, most incredible 700k teams that you guys can pick up right now in FIFA 21. And guys, most importantly, this team is going to increase your foot champions win wins and honestly, you're just going to destroy and annihilate your opponents in division rivals and foot champions. This team really, really is insane. But with that being said, before I do get into the video, link down below make sure you guys go ahead and click that if you want to see the last episode of the foot champions highlights all right make sure you guys do smash a thumbs up on the video subscribe and turn on post notifications but enough of me waffling on let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go okay guys so as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 700k hybrid the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-2-1 formation all right but that is just to get everyone on full chemistry at the end of the video i'll show you guys what formation to use in a game but with that being said guys we're going to get straight into it and we're not going to waste any time so moving on in towards the left forward position we do have an incredible informed player he's actually got two informs and we're going to be choosing his highest rated inform right his second inform and he goes by the name of yannick Carrasco this card is absolutely incredible and I highly recommend that you guys pick it up it really really is a fantastic card super super sweaty just an incredible meta player to use in this game he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot he's pacey got amazing finishing and shot power honestly absolutely ridiculous when it comes to finishing he's got super high agility great dribbling and great ball control this guy is an absolutely fantastic wide player and I really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up in, like in my opinion very very underrated you don't really see many people use this guy but honestly it's a fantastic fantastic card and I recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but with that being said moving on in towards the striker position we do have another inform and it's an inform that I've used that I've used so much in FIFA 21 because I did get him in the form of a red foot champions card and this card is absolutely incredible it really really is he goes by the name of Zhao Felix man inform Zhao Felix is one of the best most meta cards that you guys can pick up in FIFA 21 it's absolutely fantastic I love him to bits man he is so good I can't stress enough as to how good uh, this guy is to you guys man his agility is incredible his dribbling ball control and composure is all just fantastic his finishing as well is brilliant his shot power his long shots are all incredible honestly Zhao Felix in game just feels like a ridiculously meta and overpowered player man um yeah he's got it all four star skill moves four star weak foot as well I mean five star skill moves sorry and four star weak foot as well um yeah a fantastic player guys just please make sure you go ahead and, and get informed Zhao Felix he really really is incredible and a lot of you guys will probably have his player of the month card as well but yeah with that being said guys we're going to move on in towards the right forward position and uh, in this position we do have none other than the man himself Mohamed Salah um yeah a fantastic player a super super sweaty um winger tease you know he's got so much pace his agility is incredible as well which is what I like about him yes I know he's only got the three star weak foot however um you know he can always just cut inside and shoot um from that right hand side with Mohamed Salah so I don't think it's that much of an issue he's got four star skill moves and yeah like I said man he's just a sweaty sweaty player and as you guys can see 92 Two sprint speed 94 acceleration 91 finishing 91 attacking positioning 80 shot power 91 agility 91 balance 89 ball control 90 dribbling 90 composure it's just ridiculous man absolutely ridiculous so make sure you guys go in and pick up Mohamed Salah he really really is a fantastic card to use especially from that right hand side but with that being said we're going to move on in towards the midfield and we're going to start off with the right center mid position now guys um this player here you're going to need to convert him from a striker to a center mid so he does get full chemistry but we do have in form Roberto Firmino and uh yeah I like Roberto Firmino's normal goal card in this game but his in form is just ridiculously overpowered man it really really is and 
and in that cam position which is the position he will be playing from that cam position he can just do bits there man honestly just really really overpowered he's obviously got the five star skill moves and the four star weak foot as you guys can see there yes he's not super super pacey but like i said in that cam position you know you don't need to have that much pace so um yeah like he's a good creator he's a good finisher he really really is clinical when it when it comes to finishing um he's got good agility balance ball control and composure um yeah this from you know card is absolutely fantastic and again it's a card that you don't see too much in fifa however i do think it's a card that you know what that is worth getting you guys should think about getting this card because yeah it really really is an incredible um card to you so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up roberto fermino but with that being said moving on in towards the central center mid position we got again another Liverpool player, a well-rounded Liverpool player. He plays um, centre mid. He goes by the name of Jorginho Wijnaldum. A fantastic card that I like to use in, a lot in FIFA because he, he's just so good at everything. He's so well-rounded. The perfect box-to-box -box midfielder. Four-star skill moves. Four-star weak foot. High, high work rates. Good in the attack. Good in the defence. Good on the ball as well, which is also very important. Um, yeah, you know he's got high agility, um, high balance, ball control, dribbling, and composure. Like I said, this guy is a fantastic box-to-box -box midfielder, and it's a midfielder that you really really should think about again because he's overpowered and he's very very cheap as well but really really is effective in game so again make sure you guys um get Wijnaldum having a player like him in your team will just really really improves your gameplay massively because you have a player there that can really that is reliable in every game situation you know even if he's through on goal you can really trust Wijnaldum to put it away if he's defending you can trust him to make the tackle you can trust Wijnaldum and that is why I do like him um yeah he's a very very good effective card to use in FIFA 21 so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but moving on in towards the left sentiment spot we do have a slightly cheaper player than Wijnaldum but still very much an overpowered meta card to use a lot of people loved using this card at the start of FIFA and I'm actually starting to notice a lot of players a lot of uh, La Liga players have got face changes which yeah is quite interesting um but yeah Marcus Llorente we do have in the central center mid spot again another well-rounded player not as good as not as good on the ball as someone like Wijnaldum who like Wijnaldum's got fantastic agility and balance um compared to Marcus Llorente but Marcus Llorente Lorente on the defensive side of things is actually very very good and what I like about Lorente as well is he's pacey he adds that pace um, and tenacity in that midfield and that is why I do like him and also again he's pretty reliable in attacking situations as well I've used Marcus Lorente a lot in FIFA and I think going forward he is fantastic but also at defending so yeah you've got two good well-rounded midfielders to use in this team and that is why um, that is another thing that just makes this team very very overpowered but Marcus Lorente he's a fantastic good uh, cheap card to use so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up man I really, really do recommend him to you guys. But moving on now in towards the defense, we're going to start off with the left back spot. And in this position, we do have um, Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is a fantastic card to use, in my opinion. He really, really is. He's a player that I recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up. He's just so small, agile. And again, wow, that is just completely different to, to, to his old card. He's pretty much bald now. I don't even know that. Um, but yeah, Jordi Alba, fantastic card, man. Just pacey, really, really high agility as well. Good at defending. He's just a left back that gets the job done. He does what he needs to do um, and he will get the job done. He's a fantastic player and I recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up. I really, really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up because he's pacey, super agile, got high balance, good dribbling, ball control. He's also good at defending as well. Like there's nothing that this man can't do from that left back spot. So make sure you guys go ahead and get him. In the right back spot, guys, we do have a slightly cheaper but still very, very overpowered fullback. He goes by the name of Kevin Mbabu. Um, I like this card a lot. You know, he gets a basic stun. You know, he's got, he's got the assist essentials of a fullback you know he's got the pace um he's got the physicality he's got the defending ability so yeah he's not like the, he's, he's no Furla Mendy or anything like that but he's still someone just a good cheap effective card you know a cheap reliable player in the squad um you need that in pretty much every team you're building to be honest with you guys but um yeah Babu he'll get the job done I recommend that you guys go ahead and get him but now we're gonna move on in towards the central Barque partnership and this is a, it's, a, it's a partnership that I do like to use a lot um in some squad builders especially when building hybrid as well because they all link very very well to each other and um yeah it's that it's that um bundesliga trio so that that dortmund trio of akanji is is going to be one of them in form akanji a fantastic player you guys could also think about upgrading to his road to the final card if you did enjoy using his inform um me personally i rate this inform highly i think it's a fantastic card i recommend that you guys go ahead and pick it up it really really is a great 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 card to use man um informer kanji fantastic player 87 standing tackle 83 strength 83 defensive awareness 84 interceptions he's pacey as well but it's just like how he plays in game 
It's just very, 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 very effective. I think that he's a good meta player, and again, I think he's underrated. You don't really see this guy too much in many um, other pe in other people's teams. So yeah, make sure you guys get a Kanji to link with a Kanji. Of course, we do have Inform Bellaini, another card that I really do like, another pacey centre back that we do have in this team. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, man, this team is just crazy, bros. It really, really is a crazy team. Like again, now I'm just thinking about it. It's a fantastic team, and it's just gonna do you complete damage to your opponents. But um, yeah, Delaney in the centre back position 79 sprint speed 79 acceleration and obviously we, we know that Delaney is actually a midfielder card so he's got like a mid midfielder's card a CDM's card um at centre back which is pretty good because he's got the pace he's good on the ball he's got good dribbling uh, ball control and agility for a centre back anyway um good finishing which doesn't really matter to be honest because he's a centre back he's not going to score goals is he but yeah in terms of the defending he's fantastic got high stamina great jumping great aggression um fantastic interceptions and good tackling abilities as well so yeah Thomas Delaney a fantastic card make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up and then to complete this team guys in the goalkeeper position we do have none other than a man himself Romain Berkey just a cheap overpowered keeper someone that should make you a lot of saves a decent option to use in my opinion make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Romain Berkey um but yeah man as you guys can see right now on your screens this is it this is the insane 700k hybrid honestly it's a fantastic team it's an overpowered team i recommend that you guys go ahead and pick it up but with that being said i'm going to quickly show you guys what formation to switch to in game and that formation is going to be of course the 4 2 3 1 formation all right a very overpowered formation i recommend that you guys go ahead and use it and in this formation this is exactly how you want to set up the team so Jao felix at, at uh in the striker spot uh mohammed salah right Carrasco on the left, Inform Firmino in the central cam spot, Lorente and Jorginho Wijnaldum as the two DMs, all right? That is how you want to set up the team in game. Make sure you guys go ahead and do that. But with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this overpowered 700k team, man. It really, really is a fantastic team and I recommend that you guys go ahead and pick it up. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications as well. Um, Yeah, so you guys never miss an upload. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy RB Plays and peace.